history. She was the brains in our family. And I might get an idea for something, but she'd figure out how to make it work. We had a wonderful big Clearwater, have a wonderful big Clearwater festival every year in the middle of, middle of June or July, the middle of July. The nation celebrates July 4th, but on 10 days later, my wife was organizing a river festival. So everybody on the Hudson River knows about this wonderful festival. Instead of one big stage with a few famous people, my wife figured to have seven stages or eight, a circle of song, a family stage, a dance stage. And when the sun went down and the evening uh, sun, sunset concert, where we would look at the sun go down and remember the old times, whether they were of Native American life or French or Dutch or whatever. And that was my wife's doing. Her last three years were very difficult. She had a hip operation, a knee operation. She couldn't walk except with very small steps. I would sometimes persuade her to take a bigger step, all of 10 inches. Take a big step, Toshi. But little by little, she lost her power to walk. She'd sit in that big chair and put her feet up. And she'd sit in a little wheelchair and eat meals with us. And she would smile when her friends came to visit. But she could no longer cook. She could not stand tall enough. And such a wonderful cook she was. And finally, she was spending more and more time in bed, more and more time. And our daughter took her pulse one night, and she, she said her pulse has stopped. We kissed her good night. Her body was cold in the morning. I scattered her ashes in our garden. It was her garden once. She had a wonderful garden. Oh, such a big raspberry crop. We had gallons and gallons of raspberries. But then she could not take care of the garden. Our daughter takes care of it as well as she can. And I still wash the dishes, but they're not so many to wash now. And in winter, I keep the fire going in here and keep a stove going in the bedroom. But there's her empty bed. <laughs>